Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on physics. We're going to look at my cell phone under the microscope. You're going to see in this video the pixels, which are red, green, and blue, under the camera, through the microscope. Let's get to the demonstration. That's my cell phone. But before we get to the demonstration, let me show you this first. This is a light projector of the primary colors red, blue, and green. Now we know that the primary colors of printed ink is magenta, cyan, and yellow. My question to you for the comments below is why is cyan, magenta, and yellow different from red, blue, and green when they all produce all the colors of the rainbow, including white and black? I'll be describing light here. When all colors are off, as you can see, the screen is black. If I turn the blue on, you see a blue light. If I turn the red on, you see a red light. If I turn the green on, you see a green light. Now let's see what happens when I mix green and red together. When I mix green and red together, we get yellow. Now I'll turn on the blue. When I turn on the blue, if you see in the center there, it's white. So the mixing of the primary colors in light of red, green and blue all at the same intensity produces white color and when they're all off it produces black and that's exactly as your cell phone and LCD TV work your tablet works and your plasma TV and even your CRTV works they all have pixels of red, green, and blue and are visible as making up the colors of the rainbow, but they're so small you can't see them when you're watching television, your tablet, or your smartphone. I'm going to turn on Pac-Man with the volume down so I don't blow any copyright, copyright issues. This is Pac-Man on my cell phone. Now I'll look at this under the microscope.
Here we see only the blue pixels lit up, producing a blue color on your screen. Here we see all the green pixels lit up to produce green color on your screen. And here we see a mixing of red, green, and blue to produce white. And there's the white on the screen. All pixels are on for the color white. The red, green, and blue pixels are all on at the same intensity to produce white light. You can't see pixels with your naked eye, but this is how they look under the microscope. Green, blue, red, producing red color, blue, white, all pixels are on, next to blue, next to red, and this is what we were observing under the microscope. You can't even see the pixels. All you see are the colors. But now you know what the pixels look like, red, green, and blue, under your CRT television, plasma television, LCD television, tablet, and smartphone. My phone is an Android. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Always reminding you to keep looking down.